Howdy folks, this is Flexor Paul. Today I want to do a recap of Jurassic World Evolution 2 so far. We may have seen new image, gameplay footage from monthly high clock stream and several YouTubers like The Gaming Beaver and Best in Slot or any YouTubers you know. We have seen pre-order trailer and preview species field guide which quench our thirsty of this game. But our hype doesn't stop yet. We will see more image and species field guides coming in weeks and months. For now, let's see what we might see and we can summary. In case there's something you miss or need to re-explain or so you will understand better about this game till the release time. First thing first, we see from pre-order trailer, we got stegosaurus revealed with parasolophoses. This might be our first time to see parasolophoses clearly in this footage. So we can confirm that parasolophoses return in this game. But then come the Carnotaurus chasing the Parasolophus and try to hunt it down. But somehow they both got fall and rolled down on the ground. New thing about Carnotaurus hunting is they not always success like in the first game. There's a chance for the herbivores or prey to survive but might injure. When they fall, that could be the Carnotaurus has failed to kill a Parasolophus and it might be a man, might be managed to escape but we don't see it instead a helicopter with a ranger dream try to shoot down the Carnotaurus with a rifle loaded with a tranquilizer dart. So that is means capturing dinosaurs from wild. We're not just create and incubate dinosaur eggs on hatcheries, but we can capture wild dinos and bring them to the enclosure or paleomedical facility if the dino is injured and need medical treatment. To capture a wild dino, you must track and find it first by a ranger jeep. Once you spot it, a capture helicopter will, will be sent and you will switch control to the helicopter to suit the dino and bring them to the safety to your parks. If you are pre-ordered game now, you will get amazing set of vehicle skins. These vehicle skins were inspired by the Lost World Jurassic Park. They had green camo skins like used in by Indian Steam and Malcolm Steam in the, the Lost World. There are three types of vehicles. There are ranger vehicles, medical vehicles, and capture helicopters. But there are more skins for the game which available on Deluxe Edition for Sandbox and Challenge Mode. These vehicle skins are inspired by organization from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. These skins have white and green with DPG sticker on it. Looks very neat and gorgeous. While creating dinosaur eggs on a hatchery, you need to synthesize first and require scientists for the process and the next. After synthesized, eggs can get random positive or negative trait to individuals. If the eggs are failed, you have to dismiss it and create a new one or a clutch. And you can release them together after the dinos are ready to release. Every dinosaur has different environment needs. So you can check their status and see what they need. And select what they need and automatically switch to environment editing mode without have quit Dino status first and select environment menu later, like in the first game. You can rotate and gizmo the rock 
as you want to give a perfect look for the part. A huge aviary built by connecting an aviary with another new one depends how huge and shape you want it. Also consider with the terror source you have inside. If the terror source escape, you must capture them or they will attack other dinosaurs, even you guess. Once you capture them, a transport helicopter will transport sedated pterosaurs to the hatchery and it will release them again to the aviary. Ranger team also can patrol and monitor the aviary by sending a drone inside the aviary. Different with usual enclosure where it needs a ranger post to monitor dinosaur activity. Besides Tyrannodon and Dimorphodon, there's another one is Chorphiognathus, one of my favorite pterosaurs after Tyrannodon. They look different compared with other pterosaurs. They had crests on their beak and also one of the largest pterosaurs. Also, there is Ceratactylus. It looks like a pteranodon with tropic natus beak. The drone has some mechanic built like aviary. You will place a circle lagoon to expand it. You have another one or more that must connect to the first one. Guests can enjoy marine reptiles inside a lagoon with a viewing stand. It can lower the level so guests can see on the water. Not just mosasaurs as the marine reptile in this game. But there is plesiosaurs on this game. A long naked marine reptile with head like snake. The clip you are watching now are from the Gaming Beavers video. I put the link in the description so you can check him, their videos, his videos. Another new one added is Ichthyosaurus. It's also one of popular marine reptiles. There will be a lot of decoration for you guests and building. Like in this image, a Spinosaurus skull. Jarosphere also returned in this game as an attraction. Jarosphere track can overlay with guest path and it will create a crossing path like in this image. You can now move buildings instead of demolizing and rebuilding. Guests have different interests. They are split into four main categories. General, Adventure, Nature, and Luxury. Guests need also be seen on path. There will be different colors of beer depends on what your guests need. A brand new curry for also shown on the pre-order trailer. Majimbosaurus is breaking the fence and chasing the Gallimimus. Love the animation how it breaking the fence and successfully kill the Gallimimus. We have seen dinosaurs battle on previews, that is Stegosaurus and Triceratops fighting over territories. That was the different species of herbivores, but now it's the Cornfors. And all the swords fight again a Chianjosaurus. They have a very amazing fighting animation. While in the first game they're just biting or chopping until their last blood and the, oppon the opponent will finish it. And that's when the animation appears. The Ankylosaurus also confirmed to return in this game. You are seeing it on this park management guide, cast clip. There is a new image of Baryonyx. We probably have seen Baryonyx previously. And Velociraptor. We have seen it many times, but in this image, we feel a familiar skin on a Velociraptor in the background. The skin is from the last word Jurassic Park Velociraptor. So we might have have skins and patterns from Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park 3, even Jurassic World. So we still can have Blue and her sister skins. Deluxe edition also available with extra content. There are six more amenity guest building signs. 
three more food signs that are sushi, carfery, and waffles. Two more drinks that are fruity and herbal tea. And amber for the souvenir. Three dinosaur protection group vehicle skins for sandbox and challenge mode, like I said previously. And five more dinosaurs and reptiles. Introducing Wayangosaurus, the Stegosaurus family founded in China. Pachyrhinosaurus, the Ceratopsid, you might know from Walking with Dinosaurs movie. Megalosaurus is one of the first dinosaurs to be discovered. Gaston Pergia, another pterosaur with upright cranial crest. And Attenborosaurus, just like Plesiosaurus and is named after famous natural historian Sir David Attenborough. There will be hybrid dinosaurs, but we don't have seen any image of it. But I'm sure there will be hybrid because I saw one of dinosaur status that is not compatible with Dr. Wu hybrids. So it could be possibly Indominus Rex and Indoraptor to have in this game. One thing that also catch our eyes in uh, this game is Jurassic Park San Diego Stadium Arena. Well, you see a T-Rex in the middle of it, and look at the background. There are a city and a long bridge. I love every detail of this game, not just the dinosaurs and environment, but also the background. So Jurassic Park San Diego is on Chaos Theory mode. I am looking forward for this mode. And finally, extreme weather have in this game are snowstorm and dust or sandstorm. That's all I can recap for now. It's not final yet. We might see more dinosaurs and updates in the future. So keep our eyes and ears open on every notification. So far, we already got fantastic updates and news. Thanks to the team and developer for bringing us the news and updates. And hopefully we will see more marine reptiles species will guide on the next days or weeks after the Mosasaurus. Thank you for watching this recap. Give a like and subscribe. It really helps me to grow this channel and motivates me to make more content. So until next time, auf Wiedersehen.